Spring Anime 2022 is here! So for this video, I'm going to talk about five animes that are coming out that I'm most excited for, and then I'm going to give you eight animes, which I'm going to kind of make fun of in a really brief set. I'm going to have chapter markers down at the bottom if you guys want to skip to different ones if you're not kind of interested in what I'm talking about. So let's jump into it. Summertime Rendering is an anime about a boy who returns to his home island after hearing of his sister's death only to discover a mystery on the island in the form of a strange shadow disease. What interests me most about this anime is the interesting art style and the fact that the show will blend mystery, horror, and action. Plus, it's set on an island, and I don't know why, but I love shows set on islands. The trailer shows off some really decent looking animation, settings, and it was edited in a way that really made me want to see more. Look forward to it releasing on April 14th on Disney Plus, surprisingly. I guess they've just been ramping things up over there with the anime. Tomodachi Game. As someone not familiar with the manga or live action previously released for this, initially, I will admit, my interest was in the fact that Tomodachi Game looked very Squid Game-like. The show is about a group of high school friends who, after an incident, become involved in a debt repayment game. Unlike Squid Game, though, this game is not won by deceit, but instead by not doubting your friends. I love psychological anime, and the story coupled with this mysterious yellow hat wearing creepy mascot has me hoping I'll really enjoy this one. Releases on April 6th on Crunchyroll. Also, I want to clear this up. Tomodachi Game was released way before Squid Game was received. I think the live action even came out like in 2018. So, no, this is not a ripoff. I, I know it's really easy to just jump straight to that, but this, this was done way before that. And I actually do think that it is somewhat different. So, keep that in mind. Black Rock Shooter Dawnfall. No cap. 100% of my interest in this anime is that it just looks like a wild ride. The trailer has a lot of my favorite things to see, like a futuristic, dystopian looking landscape, crazy character outfits, aliens, motorbikes, and tons of explosions. Maybe I'm a bit behind the times as Black Rock Shooter isn't exactly new, previously releasing an OVA and an RPG game for Gasp, the PlayStation Portable. But it's something I'm going to be looking at this season, finally. Black Rock Shooter Dawnfall releases April 3rd on Disney+, Plus, which I guess going forward might be something I need to get used to saying. S-Tab Life The Great Escape One of those oh-so-exciting mixed-media projects. S-Tab Life Great Escape is an upcoming anime, film, and smartphone game set that takes place in a pretty interest-catching version of an altered Tokyo managed by an artificial intelligence. The trailer was very teaserish, but showed some of the Tokyo districts off and featured some well-drawn characters and environments. You may feel a certain way about this one, but I'm interested in seeing what this group of people living in this world are all about. I think with the show being about a series of districts and an overarching AI controlling it all, we could be in for some really rad environments and possibly some good story about people surviving and trying to escape. But time will tell on this one. Previously, I've been excited about a few shows that turned into rubbish pretty quickly as animation style and setting isn't often enough to make an overall good show. I'm looking at you, Deep Insanity. Got a cringe video on that one. I'm going to wrap up my more detailed mini previews today with a more lighthearted upcoming anime, Onapon. Now, if you don't know much about my tastes, in general, I like darker, heavy, story-driven psychological animes, and sometimes action animes, but then also sometimes I like totally bizarre, absurd animes. From what I can tell, Onapon falls into the last category for sure. The summaries I found online list it as being set in a world where demons, known as Oni, and humans live together. The story is about three Oni girls who transfer to a Tokyo middle school that are trying to improve the poor image of their race by using their key item with hidden powers. Oni underpants! You know, also known as Onapon. With that, we're going to jump into some quick mentions real super fast as we wrap this one out. Sukumori's not just a cutie. 
An unlucky weirdo boy has an extrovert transforming girlfriend. The Greatest Demon Lord is reborn as a typical nobody. Overly long titled Isekai number 99 bajillion. Skeleton Knight in Another World. Isekai with normal length title. I'm quitting heroing. Oh look, another Isekai. Trapped in the dating sim, the world of Atome games is tough for mobs. Holy crap that title. Yes, it's another Isekai, but this time, a harem. A couple of cuckoos. Siblings, but not arranged to marry the anime the dawn of the witch a nobody magic boy finds himself a hero with friends and finally shem knew the animation is coming in spring 2022 great video game that turned bad soon to have an anime with all that said that is my coverage of the upcoming spring 2022 anime season i'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below Tell me what I missed. Is there something I'm just totally skipping out on that I just have to get on? Did I crap on one of your favorite animes in my mini reviews? Am I looking forward to something that's definitely going to be crap? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear it. If you guys like this content, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Yokoso Otaku for more anime news, reviews, and gaming coverage. We'll catch you on the next one.